first idea about JOI came around the day that Red Bull announced that they were no longer going to do the Red Bull Big Air Hainora. And I loved that event. It was one of the, you know, the first big event I ever went to. So we started thinking about what we could do in order to keep that going here in Sweden and, and take all the best part of that and then make it even more rider oriented and really make sure that whatever we build is built to take this sport to the next level. I mean, when I sit here and look back at the way skiing was 10, 15 years ago, I mean, it's, it's completely different, but I think the mental set is the exact same, even though what we're doing is completely different. I mean, it's kind of funny, when you think about the first year we did JOI, a Switch 1080 was the pinnacle of the sport. That was incredible. Now people are doing triples. So I think every year, you know, the riders push each other and change what we think is possible to do. This competition has been huge for skiing, for free skiing. Um, I mean, growing up, I've watched it every year. I think we all want to do these cool new tricks, but no one really finds a good jump to do it on, so when you come here, it's like go time. I mean, Yoon did the first doubles in this competition, so it's been huge for our sport. I honestly don't know how we started getting the start feel that we got with all the best guys. Because I mean, in the beginning, I, I think everybody just wanted a good kicker. And I think that the kicker has been the main focus from day one of JOI. And I think when people saw that the new tricks were being done here, I think that's what really attracted people to come back year after year. We, together with him, fix a really good jump. We build it a little bit bigger and bigger each year. The riders get better. We need to do it bigger and better to keep the progression of the sport kind of. I mean, the first six years I threw JOI, it was all big air. Then I got into ski racing and I kind of got me thinking that we have two different sorts of skiing and it's kind of the same in a way, but they're always separated in different events. So I wanted to bring both events together because I know that these guys are, you know, the same type of people, even though some guys have, you know, big clothes on and some have speed suits. This type of uh Racing, going head to head uh, in the parallel slalom is not something we do through the year, so it's also a different form of competing. And uh, even though it's all laid back, I I know that everybody wants to win, so it's still uh, you know it's not just uh, cruising. It's uh, I think it's going to be a good fight too. I think it's fun for people to watch, and I think it's something that we should learn in ski racing, and that fans can learn from. I think that the skiers goes to the most events to compete, but I think when they go here, it's kind of like they're going on a vacation. That's always been the goal, that we want people to come here, not for the price money and for the contest, but because they want to come here. This event's all about having fun. Ski as a group, hang out later as a group, and just enjoy each other in a fun ski atmosphere. I think everyone just gets stoked to throw down and uh, just like sessioning a big jump with a bunch of friends, so it's not really much of a contest. On one hand, they really want to win it because it's a cool competition to have under your belt, but they don't really care. They all come here for the experience. I'd love to keep running this event for as long as I can because it's, it's a very hectic week but it's also the highlight of my year so I just got to come up with ways to make it new and fresh so that I stay motivated because the day I can improve the event I'll quit right away because I want to make sure that every year is going to be the best year.